everybody. Um, we are just a few lessons away from uh, being done. This uh, lesson I'm, I really like teaching because no one else really does teach this. This is not a chapter in your textbook. Uh, this is one I developed and it's been talked about in other places too. But really uh, we're going to look at two uh, important news events in the history of journalism and how they changed things and how they had an impact. First, we're going to look at the assassination of John F. Kennedy. It took place in November 22, 1963. I was a sixth grader. The assassination did not uh, take place uh, live, but the murder of his assassin did take place live. Uh, I have some material here for you to look through. One of them is about an hour-long discussion on how uh, the assassination impacted the media and changed the media. There's also a short little piece on what actually happened that day. And then there's also a, a reading assignment there. What's important to know here is that this really changed uh, the way news covered breaking events. Before, it was very tedious, very it took a long time. Um, there was no instant CNN, anything like that. Uh, news was put on film uh, and developed, and you'll, you'll see some of that in this, in this discussion. What's important to note is, is that how people got their news changed that day. It used to be newspapers. It used to, they would wait for the newspaper to come to their front porch, and they'd pick it up and they'd read it because TV was always lagging because of this ability, inability to get things on the air right away. On this day, the national broadcast companies, NBC, ABC, CBS, or really only three, and most of them signed off at midnight, stayed on the air until the, the assassination was on a Friday and stayed on the air without commercials continuously until Monday. This is the equivalent of 9-11. This was our 9-11 when we were kids. We knew where exactly where we were when this took place, and we still remember. I was in my classroom. The principal came in, asked if anybody had a radio, because he had heard that the president had been shot. The civil defense radio band, which is sort of like our storm warning of a uh, group of uh, radio stations, uh, had, a, had news of the assassination. So it changed. People now went to TV for the instant news, and there were constant updates, constant stories, just like the way 9-11 was is covered now. And they learned a lot from the Kennedy assassination. It continues to be studied for how they did all this, because in the days of uh, old TV, uh, instead of being able to do video with your phone, they had to turn on these big, bulky machines. They had uh, tubes inside of them instead of uh, little smart boards and things like that. It took a while. That's why you will see in this one piece that they had to do almost a radio announcement from TV of this uh, incident. And they had to wait for the cameras to warm up before they could go on the air. So it, it, it was kind of bulky and clunky, but it was the first time and it was the predecessor to 24-hour news. Um, now, when it comes to Watergate, Watergate is one of those moments that uh, highlighted journalism, journalism at its best. Uh, the Washington Post really took the lead. What had happened was a group of burglars, political burglars, had broken into the Democratic National Headquarters at the Watergate Hotel trying to find secrets about the Democratic Party and what they were doing. So a, a lot of similarities to the Trump-Clinton uh, campaign. But they got caught. And thanks to the work of Woodward and Bernstein, two reporters from the Washington Post, they traced the money that was paid to the burglars back to the uh, re-election committee for President Nixon. And eventually it got back to Nixon because he was willing to pay off people to keep quiet about what had happened. And it cost him his office. And what it showed was is that journalism, good journalism, reliable, solid reporting, good sourcing, even though uh, Woodward and Bernstein used an anonymous source uh, by the name of Deep Throat, that was the nickname they gave him, um, they did verify things. Even when Deep Throat told them something anonymously, they verified it with two or three more sources that would, who would go on the record. And, it, and Nixon did resign then, uh, about a year later, right after he was reelected in a landslide. 
Um, you will see, I think the last item in the, in the list of things to do will come up with some kind of, uh, not an error, but it, it tells you to click on the link below and you will see the link in smaller type below there. Just click on that and it will, it's an overview of, of Watergate. Just study these. I think these are important for journalists to know about their history and their background and what and what went on before them and these are two of the bigger moments and you will see similarities in these two to how 9-11 was covered and how how the the Trump Clinton uh, campaigns had similar issues as they did with Watergate with a lot of secrecy and things going on um, I'll make no political comment about Trump today and how this might have uh, ramifications of how good journalism could uh, really called into the carpet, but right now there's a different kind of atmosphere out there uh, as far as what the people want from journalism. So enjoy this. We'll have one more lesson after this and then we'll do a review. So have a good time. There's only one discussion uh, item in this, but you have to do two discussions in it. Uh, each one is worth 20 points. Uh, one is a discussion about the Kennedy assassination. One is about Watergate. You don't have to comment on each other's material if you don't want to. I just want to see what your thoughts are about these two discussion items I put up. If you have any questions, let me know. And, and I hope uh, everything works right this time. I, I, I'm trying my best to kind of keep all these open. You got to hit the right times and dates to keep these things open, but I think they'll work out. Uh, we will talk to you all later. Thank you.